tomatoes, peppers, uh, eggplant, cucumbers, squash, beans. You could call Jules Dervais and his three children groundbreaking pioneers. Grapes, apples, citrus. At the forefront of a fast-growing movement in these hard economic times, getting rid of the sacred front lawn and replacing it with the urban farm. This veritable Eden on a standard lot on an average street in Pasadena. In fact, the whole lot would fit on the football field at the Rose Bowl down the street seven times. We're cultivating a tenth of an acre and we can grow up to 6,000 pounds of fruits and vegetables per year. So much food, they started selling organic produce to upscale restaurants. They say they're saving the earth. They know they're saving money. Daughter Anais says they spend a few hundred dollars a month on staples they can't grow, like flour and rice. And that's about it. Everything else is homegrown. Spending on vegetable gardening in the U.S. has been sprouting up, a whopping 21 percent in just the last year. Now, for the Dervases, it's a full-time job. But anybody can garden, they say. Most of this stuff was picked just today. This, this bounty from the Foti family's front lawn in suburban L.A. What used to look like this now looks like this. They were led down the garden path by this man, architect Fritz Haig, who's out to change communities one front yard at a time. It happens to be one of the most wasteful, useless spaces. Eyeing the 30 million front lawns in America, he's like some Johnny Appleseed of gardening, sowing his green revolution from California to Kansas, New Jersey, Baltimore, even London. It's such a natural thing to do to grow your own food, and yet it's such a radical thing. Seeds of change taking us back to the future. Bill Whitaker, CBS News, Pasadena.